Welcome to CivilNet. Today my guests in the studio are Arina Zorabian. She is the Director of Admissions for the American University of Armenia and Alan Amirkhanian. He is the Director for the Agopian Center for the Environment and a lecturer at the School uh, of the College of Science and Engineering. Alan, Arina, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Um, the American University of Armenia is, uh, is an institution of higher learning that has really changed the the landscape of education in Armenia, uh, particularly post-secondary education. Uh, here at CivilNet, we are one of your ardent supporters and oftentimes, uh, you know, we report about the events taking place and you have something uh, that is called the Study Abroad AUA program uh, and also summer program. Um, and we're looking forward to its implementation this year in the summer of 2015. So Arina, why don't you tell us uh, what the Study Abroad program is all about? Sure. Um, I, I think I, one of the great things that I've heard a lot is that there are so many students from the diaspora who want to come and pursue um, part of their degree at AUA or in Armenia. Um, and that opportunity has not really existed in the past because we didn't have an undergraduate program. So in 2013, we launched our, uh, our undergraduate programs. We had our first year. We now have a second year, and as of next year, we'll have our third year, uh, third year of study. So this is the exact time when it's a perfect opportunity to launch the study abroad opportunity. So basically, students who want to spend either a semester or two at the university, um, and because of our uh, accreditation, um, they are able to transfer back their credits and literally come and, and spend a semester or a summer um, of a lifetime in Armenia. Um, they gain an amazing experience just being outside of um, you know, their country, their home country, whether it's the US, whether it's Canada, whether it's Europe. Um, they make friends for life, they have an experience, they get to see a lot of parts of Armenia and it's just it's a really great opportunity. This summer, 2015, we'll be launching um, the summer program 2015. Three of the courses that we'll be offering are um, offered jointly by UCLA and AUA. Um, so it's the perfect opportunity for students who are interested in learning more about history um, or if they really want to improve or grasp the knowledge of the Armenian language. Um, certainly, I think that for, uh, for most in the diaspora, um, particularly parents, uh, and for those who even, you know, have considered and have actually repatriated it to Armenia, is, is the concern is always education. Uh, and what kind of education um, can Armenia secure for their children? Uh, so AUA now, as you said, with the uh, bachelor program, I think has opened a whole sort of, um, a whole window of opportunity. Uh, Alan, talk to me, if you will, about the perspective of the, the, the learning experience, the academic sort of environment at AUA, it is comparable to universities in the United States and beyond even? In many respects, I think it is. Um, it is, of course, a new program, but with it come uh, a lot of interesting um, uh, approaches that we have adopted that other more established institutions may, may not be, uh, uh, be able to do. Our uh, faculty members are very younger, very creative, very talented, um, and uh, they also expect a lot from the students. So they give a lot, but they expect a lot from the students. So that intense experience of engaging students and expecting them to be very independent, I think, is a unique part of what we offer at AUA. The other very important part is, especially with the summer program, uh, what uh, our students will be able to do is uh, participate in what we call Discover Armenia. Um, and Arena will tell us more about that. But that gives a very hands-on, uh, kind of engaged um, uh, tour of different uh, cultural and natural assets that Armenia has to offer. Um, uh, I think the term often used uh, for that is kind of this, getting this very organic experience of Armenia. Uh, and that in and of itself is a value proposition. So to add it to uh, a, an academic course you can take at AUA uh, and have it count for your degree uh, uh, in, back in the US or Canada or Europe, uh, I think that, that, that makes it a very attractive opportunity. Uh, just to add, I think uh, study abroad programs are, are absolutely wonderful opportunities for students. Whether you come to Armenia, you go to Europe, you go to Asia, uh, you 
open up a whole new uh, world for yourself. So I myself have had that experience and, and um, I'm, I'm, uh, I can sincerely say that it's been a life-changing experience. My experience wasn't in Armenia, uh, it was in Germany and Austria, but uh, back then Armenia wasn't independent, I'm very ancient. Um, but, you know, I, I think um, uh, the, the coming to Armenia or to Europe or, or anywhere else, it, it, you will have a, a, in many ways, life-changing experience. And I think you need to be open to that, you need to seek that. Uh, I think you will uh, become a much more uh, well-rounded and, um, and um, mature um, professional. And a lot of companies today expect you to have a multinational kind of, companies expect you to have multicultural experiences. And even if you're Armenian, you come to Armenia, it is going to be a cultural experience for you because it, uh, cultures uh, is not just by using the word Armenian, you don't become the same culture. There's lots of diversity and lots of new experiences you can have. And I think our program gives you that perfect bridge mm -hmm. to be able to do that uh, comfortably. Sure, certainly. You know, you know, the world has changed so much and, and we do live in a, in a globalized world where there is so much, um, you know, back and forth, uh, going from one country to another and it, it's not like before you're ancient, you know, as am I, and before it was, it was quite different. Um, before we talk about Discover Armenia, the students who apply don't have to be Armenian necessarily. They can be uh, any American student mm -hmm. uh, can choose to come to Armenia and be part of the study abroad program, right? Right. So for the summer program 2015, there is, uh, you know, as long as you have graduated high school, it doesn't matter if you, uh, as long as you have met that requirement, um, you are definitely eligible to apply. Some courses have different criteria and a lot of information is available on our website. Um, but we have had a couple of uh, inquiries coming in from people who have said that they have, <coughs> they are possibly ancient, just to go with the same verbiage that we've been using. Um, so there is absolutely um, no constraint there. For the study abroad program, obviously um, you would need to be enrolled in an undergraduate program to apply for our undergraduate right, study abroad program. But you don't necessarily programs. have to be Armenian. Um, no, could, no, 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 yeah. you do not have to be Armenian. And just one addition I wanted to make is, um, you know, one of the things that a lot of people might not know about uh, the American University of Armenia is that its accreditation is granted through WASC Senior College and University Commission. This is the same accrediting body that accredits close to 170 universities um, on the west coast of the United States. So they are literally coming to a U.S. university with a physical location in Armenia. Right. So in terms of equality, um, I think that um, you know, will hopefully provide the comfort that it is, you know, a very strong institution. Um, and we are affiliated with the University of California since our founding. Mm -hmm. No, certainly it is a country that uh, would provide ample opportunity for people to discover, uh, you know, culture, history, um, even, you know, society, how people live. It, it's, it would be an incredible opportunity. Um, as part of Discover Armenia, so they would be going to different regions in Armenia, they would be going, I mean, is it the regular church sort of visits or are, are they doing, will there be special programs? There are definitely church visits, um, sure. but as, as Alan mentioned, um, the, the organic learning that will happen in the classroom is not only um, in the classroom. A lot of that education is complemented by visits throughout the country. Um, so for the history, uh, Global Perspectives and Sight Stories course, which is taught by, um, you know, a very well-known architect architect and UCLA professor, um, then that course will be complemented with visits of archaeology sites, um, you know, for the introduction to, introductory to Eastern Armenian or the Intermediate Eastern Armenian courses. Um, a lot of the education they will be putting to use um, as they go and visit places in Yerevan as well as the regions. Um, so, you know, those are things that we, we had this summer, the Discover Armenia educational component last year, the tours, um, and it was a big success. I mean, they had, the students went and met with Polish volunteers to learn about environmental conservation in Armenia. In Armenia. Um, so it is an it is an extremely amazing opportunity um, that you know has has been a success, and we imagine will be a success sure, again. Sure, And there's a couple of UCLA professors who will also be teaching. Um, Gregory Arishian, mm -hmm. an archaeologist, a very well-known archaeologist, who's been working in Armenia for many years. He is from Ar Armenia originally, but he's now teaching at UCLA. Uh, you know, world-renowned scholar, um, and, and um, Anahit Keshishan also, who teaches at the Armenian Studies Program at UCLA. Uh, they will be uh, the two UCLA faculty mem members who will be leading the UCLA Armenia 
uh, component of it, um, though it's open to everyone to take. Um, all the students um, right. who are eligible, they can participate. So. And I, I was reading somewhere that you, you have also partnered, partnered up, excuse me, with Birthright. Um, you know, for our viewers, uh, for the few people who don't know what Birthright is, <laughs> it gives an opportunity for Armenians uh, from around the world to come and volunteer in Armenia for, you know, specific amounts of time. So what does that partnership uh, entail? We are extremely lucky and grateful for that collaboration. Um, so basically, if a student is admitted to AUA summer program or, or study abroad, um, then they are, as long as they meet the eligibility requirements of Birthright Armenia, then it is possible that they would um, get a 50% reimbursement on their ticket to Armenia, um, and they would also be eligible for homestay. And so some of the eligibility, uh, eligibility criteria, excuse me, includes our Armenian heritage. According to their definition, they would have to extend their stay in Armenia by about four weeks. Um, and that is an amazing opportunity because it, it will allow them to volunteer. And that, as Alan mentioned, is just another great thing to put on your resume. You get experience that you will be able to take back with you. Um, and it will just really make you stand out. Um, Alan, today, I don't know, um, are there foreign students uh, at AUA? Do we have numbers, percentages of how many foreign students there are? Studying? On the percentages, our arena would be um, a much better right, person to, to answer. Right, admissions, certainly. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of the experience, uh, we do have foreign students. We have students from Africa. We have students from India. Uh, we have students from uh, Armenians from Syria, lots of Armenian Syrian students, some Armenians from Iran, and the U.S. We have students from the U.S. And I think all of this, the, the diversity of the student body uh, truly enhances the experience, the and educational experience. And it also experience. enhances the experience of the local students as well, right. because they get to interact with students from other parts of the world. Right. And it becomes a, a, a center for global learning almost. It's quite uh, incredible. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it's uh, to, to create that global experience, one way is to go abroad, which we're encouraging people from the U.S. to come here. Another way is to for others to come here and have the experience for the locals to be uh, an international yeah, and, experience. And, and so. that really contributes, I think, in the long run to what we mm -hmm. have been talking about forever is diaspora, Armenia, sort of. Uh, developing, building a better understanding of, of the two realities that exist uh, and oftentimes don't understand one another. So, yeah. quite a in terms of numbers, about 10% of our students are international, um, and a good number of those are diaspora and Armenians. And you know, I think Alan touched upon the countries, but you know, we have Cameroon, lots of uh, students from India. We've also got a lot of European students. This year, we had our um, first applicant, um, who is Australian, um, but Australian Armenian. Um, so it is it is something that's growing. And the reason a lot of students say, well, you know, American University of Armenia, why, you know, why is it so little or why is it so much? And and the one thing, um, you know, the one one reason as uh, one reason is that in the past we haven't had dormitories or um, you know facilities to really accommodate international right. students. Which is going to be my next question. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll so let you ask it. Okay, Arena. So these students, uh, uh, if and when they come to Armenia to take part in the either the summer program or the study abroad AUA program. Are there dormitories for them? There are, and um, you know, I, I don't know about you guys, but my college experience, my dormitories are, were not very nice, and I've actually physically lo uh, visited these dormitories, and they're um, extremely, extremely nice. Um, so we do have dormitories that have been donated. We're allowed to use them through AGBU, and um, they've been donated by Vahe Gara Betyan. Um, so they're, they're about 15 minutes outside of the city driving. Um, so they're not too far away. Um, they have a lot of transportation right. back and back and to, and um, air conditioned, really nice center. Um, so a, a really great opportunity for students to stay in. Right. So I, all of the meet, needs are being met. They're getting a world class education. They're getting a place to stay. The experience. So and also active touring around the country right. and and visiting uh, places, sites artist studios to, um, you know, villages to historic sites. So it's, it's a really uh, full package of experience. While getting ahead in their studies, right? They can take a lot of the credits that they get here. Um, they can take, you know, up to two courses for the summer. You don't really want to take more because you want to enjoy being in Armenia. Um, but, you know, if you can, once you're able to transfer those back, and, and the ease of transfer is there because of our uh, accreditation, accreditation, because of these joint courses being offered. Um, so it really is just a great opportunity. And also if you apply for, sorry, if you apply for the uh, birthright 
uh, fellowship, then what would happen is that you would spend extra time here working in an Armenian organization, volunteering in an organization, so that the experience will become much more enhanced. And plus you get 50% yes. rebate on your, or refund on your airfare. Yes, and that would be that would be through Birthright Armenia. And one one great news is that we have now um, we are now offering scholarships for um, the, the the summer program. So applicants who apply by the April fifteenth deadline date, um, merit based scholarships of up to fifty percent will you know may be provided. So it's definitely something to consider. Well, certainly a win win situation for students in the United States and uh, everywhere really if they want to take part and experience education and. Armenia at the same time, so, and they can find this information on your website. If they it is on our website. Um, if they go to you know aua.am, there's a nice little box about the study abroad summer programs right on the homepage, or they can go to admissions.aua.am, where again they'll find that information on study abroad and summer programs. Very good. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to tell us about this. The best of luck, and we'll encourage our viewers to definitely go to the website and check out the program, and hopefully register and come to Armenia. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like to remind our viewers that my guest was the Director of Admissions of the American University of Armenia, Arina Zorabian, and Alan Amirkhanian, the Director for the Agopian Center for the Environment and a lecturer at the College of Science and Engineering. Stay with CivilNet.